Hey, everybody. Happy Marketing Monday. Happy Marvelous Monday. Deborah Dixon Anderson here from Light of Gold PR and Gold Wellness Circle. But today, this is a Marketing Monday and this is a live. Hey, Gio, I see you. Long time no see, brother. We got to talk. Uh, so happy to be here. It's been a little while since uh, I've done my Marketing Monday. We've been super busy. We had a wonderful Alzheimer's event last month, and we're just getting ready. Hey, Gio, just getting um, ready for uh, to do our fall and 2024 events. If you could believe that, we're already in the planning stages for a lot of uh, the activities that we want uh, to do for next year. So we've already started that. And of course, our end of the year events. A little bit about Light of Gold PR. We've been around for 17 years. We do everything from press to marketing, to branding, to digital, uh, to events. Uh, we also do a little bit of SEO and website development for some of our clients that need it. And ironically, a lot of times we get hired, our team gets hired to uh, create websites for a lot of our, our clients. And then we segue over to their marketing because having a good presence and a good brand online is very, very important. So you got to have that first. Uh, so we're going to dive into today's topic, which is about local SEO. Um, quick shout out to Carolyn Josephs from CG, CJ Design and Consulting. She was one of our vendors and she's been one of our partners over the years at our Women's uh, Business Connect Conference. Um, would love to get her on as a guest. So I'm shouting you out, uh, Carolyn. Uh, for the purposes of today, I'm just going to do a light um, topic about SEO and just some things that we do personally here at Light of Gold PR and just some things to keep in mind. Um, in today's digital age, local businesses face some tough competition when it comes to attracting clients and customers. We know that as well. Um, we're right in the trenches with you um, with the rise of all the mobile devices and the increasing use of search uh, in search engines, local search engines, all of that SEO is really crucial to incorporate into your marketing strategy. So by implementing some effective strategies for local SEO, uh, businesses can optimize their online presence and increase their visibility in local search results. So for the purposes of today, we're just going to dive into some tips, just some things to keep in mind to understand. Why don't we start with that, understanding the importance of local SEO. So local SEO refers to the practice of optimizing a website and your online presence uh, to generate uh, some organic traffic to your brand. It's really important. When people search for products or services, you want to come up in those searches in your local vicinity. Search engines use various factors to determine the most relevant and useful results to display, um, to help you display your products and services. So by implementing some local SEO strategies, businesses can really increase their chances of appearing in these search results which is where your customers are looking. So you want to be in those places, those areas. It helps to really drive um, targeted traffic and potential customers that come to your doors. Now, if you are not necessarily looking for local search, the purposes of our topic today is local SEO or local search engine optimization. If you're looking to be optimized in other cities, uh, like for instance, we do business in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, so if we knew that we wanted to promote a specific event or product or service in that area, we would try to be in those areas where we could be seen in Georgia or locally in Atlanta. We would put um, ATL or Atlanta, Georgia, we would use certain keywords to come up locally in those areas. You could do the same thing. So key strategies for a local SEO that we like to employ, we have a Google My Business page or a GMB uh, optimization. What does that mean? A Google My Business page is exactly that. You could create that for yourself in Google 
Um, it's basically like a profile page, a, a tiny, small website, uh, if, if you will, or um, I like to also look at it as just like as a local landing page uh, Google that Google provides. Google allows you to be able to create and it allows you to create accurate and up to date information, including your business name, your address, your phone number, your website, your operating hours. You can encourage your customers to leave reviews for you, positive ratings. We put our events there. We put um pictures and images and video from our events or just from our products and services. We like to put it on our Google My Business page. You could also do the same thing. A local specific keyword optimization, which is what I was mentioning earlier. If you want to pop up in certain cities, then you want to put that um, information into your tags and your website. Um, you want to use them prolifically in uh, on your website in your headings on your website in your meta tags your body tags all of that in your website you should be able to have these keywords to help it to be able to be found by uh, search engines it's really important to do that sometimes um, long keywords are important specific location modifiers to look to help target your search is really important to do um directory listings there are some that you might want to come up in some online directories uh those are really great uh to still use we don't use them quite as much as we used to but they still are relevant, whether they're Yelp or Yellow Pages or local business associations or chambers of commerce. We're members of the, um, hey, Pierre, I see you. Zamana, okay, shameless plug for Zamana and Pierre Dubois. Um, he is fantastic when it comes to analytics, uh, Google Analytics. I know you weren't expecting me to shout you out like that, but it's all good. Uh, Pierre has been a guest as well as Giovanni. Both of them have been guests on our Marketing Monday, but uh, we'll get to the importance of your analytics in a moment. Um, but we'll segue back to these directories, Yelp, Yellow Pages, local business associations, the Greater New York Chamber. It, it could be Chambers of Commerce. A lot of times they, opt, they are optimized in Google and they come up well online. It helps um, to add some legitimacy to your business when you come up in these areas. It, it makes your business more relevant. Online reviews and reputation management. We always try to ask customers for reviews in places like Google, Yelp, Facebook. So positive reviews can significantly uh, thanks, Pierre. Oh, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for your support. I appreciate you. Um, so making sure that you communicate with your customers or your clients, you know, they could be individuals, they could be businesses, whoever they are, if they have purchased your services, if they work with you, then you want to go ahead and ask them, hey, could you post a review, you know, for me, that would be, that would really help, we really would appreciate you sharing what your experience has been like to work with um, our company. And then those reviews help your future customers and clients to make a decision on whether to work with you or not. Um, so that's just something to, to keep in mind. And um, sometimes customers be prepared for this. They raise different concerns. Uh, maybe they've not had the most positive experience. You want to try to get in the habit of addressing those types of things very quickly. I don't know if you've seen like bad Yelp reviews that maybe a restaurant um, might have uh, posted about them. I'm sure that you make decisions as to whether you want to work with, whether you want to uh, go to this restaurant, go eat there just by what you've seen. And we make a lot of decisions now based on reviews, you know, whether they're negative reviews, whether they're positive reviews, we do make decisions based on those reviews. So if there is an issue, for instance, that that maybe a customer or client has had with you, you want to make sure you post that hey, I would love for us to have an on, offline conversation about this. We're so sorry that you've had this experience. Please reach out to us here or email us here, and we'd love to get this resolved for you. 
And, and sometimes it can work out well, sometimes not, you know, you, you could give it a try, but just be mindful. If you ask for those reviews, be prepared for customers who maybe did not have the best experience with you to also post there. Okay. Um, next, a localized content creation, creating informative and engaging content um, with your customers. It could be a blog post, an article. You could have been featured in an article. It could be a guide uh, providing valuable insights or tips related to your industry and your and maybe your, you know, locally where you are. Incorporate local landmarks local events and references to make your content more relevant and appealing to local audiences. That's also a good thing to do to help elevate your local searches or your local SEO. So tips for additional tips for optimizing your business for local searches, optimize your website for mobile devices. We always have to work on that too. Uh, to make sure that it comes up for smartphones, you know, Androids, iPhones, all of that. Um, leverage your social media platforms. We always post on all of our social media, whether it's our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page, our Instagram, our Twitter. We try to make sure that we come up in all those areas. We also have group pages that we like to post to as well. So just make sure that you're doing your due diligence to come up in all of those areas. Um, also working with reputable local websites and building backlinks is really important, whether it's like a newspaper or a blog or a community organization, it improves your website's authority and local search rankings. So that also helps. Uh, just a little bit of, about Google Analytics, just checking all of those to see maybe what's working, what time of the day is working better, what day of the week works better with your post. Are you getting more engagement with a certain type of content? Um, is it just you? Is it with a guest? Is it an actual image? Is it a video? Which of those are giving you the best engagement? So looking at the analytics is really important to do that. So just in conclusion, I want to go ahead and wrap up because we always try to make um, our lives, you know, closer to 10 to 15 minutes. If we have a guest, then it's probably going to be closer to 20 to 30 minutes whenever we have uh, our deeper deep dive conversation with the guest. So um, implementing effective local SEO or search engine optimization strategies is really vital for your business if you're looking to optimize your online presence, but it does work in tandem with other marketing strategies, whether it's email, uh, email blasts that you're sending out, follow-up emails. Um, it, it could be any of those types of things. It could be advertising, could be video. It works in tandem with everything else. So I think that's what's so good about making sure you're, you're having a holistic approach to your marketing is really important. Leveraging, you know, keyword strategies, you know, all of these are important, important for increasing your visibility um, on your in locally and local search engines and also in your social media. So just keeping a lot of these things in mind is uh, really important. If you want to be a guest on our Marketing Monday, please reach out to me. Just go to our lightofgoldpr.com page, L-I-G-H-T-O-F, as in Frank, gold, like the color, P as in Paul, R as in Robert.com. We do have a link for our Marketing Monday. Go ahead and click the link and go ahead and submit that you want to be a guest on our Marketing Monday. We would love to have you. We do this every other Monday. Um, right now. And same thing for our Wellness Wednesday. So we do have a Wellness Wednesday coming up talking about relaxation and travel. So join us at 1230 on Wednesday. We'd love to see you um, there. Hey, there's Go Wellness Circle. And I'm sure that Serena probably helped us. <laughs> Thank you. Um, join on our Instagram. So join uh, join us on Wednesday as we talk about travel, relaxation, um, incorporating that into your wellness. We'd love to have you um, join us then. And I hope you enjoyed this Marketing Monday. And 
if you again, if you want to be a guest, a guest, come join us. We'd love to get a couple of experts on at the same time. We can get up to ten experts on at a time. Uh, so yeah, definitely. So travel and wellness, yes, it's a great topic. I love to travel. I just came back from Georgia last week going on a cruise in the fall. Just making sure, listen, if you're a business person or if you're just a busy person, uh, you could be a professional working for a company. It does not matter. You need to incorporate wellness into your routine, into your life, You know, whether that's exercise, meditation. I believe in all of it. And travel will be our topic on Wednesday. So I hope you can join us for our Wellness Wednesday on uh, this coming Wednesday. And our next Marketing Monday will be two weeks from today. So we'll see you then. Deborah Dixon Anderson here from Light of Gold PR. Take care, everybody. Have a marvelous, marvelous Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.